Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Look at Shovel Knight. This is gonna be kind of a weird Let's Look at, uh, because it's probably not gonna be all that long, because I am playing the PAX demo for Shovel Knight, thankfully gifted to me uh, by Yacht Club Games. And I actually checked this game out at PAX, but I wasn't able to actually get hands-on time with the controller myself, because the lineup for this shit was always like 30 to 45 minutes long, and full of dudes my age who looked almost exactly like me. Despite being called Yacht Club Games, this ain't your granddad's NES-inspired action platformer. Well, it might be if your granddad is like 25 to 35. In any case, let's just get started here uh, because it's gonna be much easier to kind of explain what the heck is going on once you actually see what we have going on here. Now I should mention as we get started here, Shovel Knight does have an ongoing Kickstarter that should be going for at least another week uh, as of the time that this video goes up. But you can probably get a little bit of a feel for what this game is all about just by looking at, uh, you know, the kind of interface and the mechanics and the graphics that you're seeing right now. This is a loving recreation of everything that made, like, NES action platformers like DuckTales, Castlevania, etc, etc. Uh, so awesome. It is hard as testicles, as they often say these days, even though I don't get down with a kid's lingo. And in only the 10 minutes that I've spent with it, keep in mind this is a, a little bit of an unusual let's look at. Normally I take a more critical tone and I'm dealing with games that have actually released. Uh, this is almost like me just being a hype machine, because I saw this game at PAX and was like, I gotta try this. Uh, and here I am, so in any case, let's dig here. Shovel Knight's got some powers, but, uh, you know, very superficial differences between Shovel Knight and, you know, your standard NES-style uh, action platforming hero, like a Belmont or perhaps a Ninja Turtle. Because instead of having a bow staff or a whip or something like that, uh, his main weapon, as you might expect, is a shovel, and this also gives him the ability to kind of dig up sand in order to create paths for himself, as you can see here, uh, and also to dig up piles of dirt that you'll see on the ground in order to pick up gems, and these gems, you know, will contribute to our high score, and maybe also our survival. I'm a little bit fuzzy on the survival mechanic, that might not be 100% in place yet, uh, because I've died at one particular part in this game like seven times and still did not lose, but it has something to do with it, it almost feels like a Sonic rings style structure where if you die but you still have like potions or gems left then you don't actually die I'm not 100% sure yet now I wanted to point out that you can indeed uh, use your shovel to reflect these back at the enemy like so and I guess that'll kill him in one hit that's the first time I've ever succeeded with that but in terms of like the actual powers that Shovel Knight has pretty much at this point restricted to uh, you know using your X button on the Xbox 360 controller which I am using right now uh, in order to swing that shovel, you can also hold down on the D-pad when you're in the air. It does have adequate PC controls, by the way, if you don't have an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, and this will allow you to not only do like a downwards attack like so, but also bounce. I wonder if the downwards attack actually works well on these guys. Ah, I didn't even realize that these guys had the ability to put their shields up like that. Uh, that actually makes perfect sense because it makes these guys a little bit quicker to fight than the other way, which is actually not working out well for me at all. Uh, we usually have to hit these guys four to five times, which can be real annoying. There we go. And again, we'll pick up those potions, of which I'm not 100% what we're actually supposed to do with those. I'm going to try to bounce on this horse's head, which would allow me to access this secret path up here. That's the first time I've ever actually managed to make that one work. Uh, but, you know, when I play this, and again, I've only played it for like 15 minutes or so, because that's basically the length of the demo. We're going to see the entire PAX demo on display here. Uh, I get a real, like, not only original NES games vibe from it, but I also get a real Mega Man 9 vibe, where it's like a... a not a necessarily just a recreation of what made like NES games so much fun, or at least, you know, what creates nostalgia for us, those of us who played them, because obviously, you know, objectively, I wonder if I can do this. Objectively, it's not like NES games are the, necessarily the best games ever created. Uh, I've never been able to do this before, so this might be amazing. Rummage around the treasure chest, pull out, oh, some kind of scepter. Uh, I wonder if I could use like my face buttons, or um, to, if I could do something with this at some point. You know, we'll deal with that later. It's the first time I've ever come across that. You know, there are platforming puzzles that we're going to come across at times. Uh, keep in mind, this is just a proof of concept. This is still very much in development. I'm not sure if this will eventually uh, make its way into the full game. I can only assume so, uh, as the level does feel somewhat complete. But it's very much a uh, horizontal slice, shall we say. That was a nice deflection there, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that potion regardless. Those bombs will explode and hurt us, as you might imagine. And I only recently actually discovered that you can reflect these projectiles, which has added kind of a whole new element of gameplay uh, that has made things a lot more interesting. Because before I was just like, you know, jump, dodge, attack, uh, but the ability to reflect these projectiles is actually valuable enough in its own right. Going back to what I was saying earlier, um, you know, they, these are not just like recreations of NES games, it kind of like encaptures or encapsulates some modern design spirit as well. I kind of don't know how to articulate what I'm trying to say there. Uh, but you know, it, what I was getting at is I get a vibe of almost like a Mega Man 9, which is like it takes stuff that we've learned to create maybe a smoother difficulty curve, like stuff that we've learned in the past, uh, you know, 15, 20 years, to create a game that is not nearly as frustrating as, let's say, like the original Mega Man or something like that, or Castlevania 3, which is also uh, exceptionally difficult, at least in my own opinion. I guess I can't hit this guy 
uh, with the deflection there. And it makes for a much more smooth gameplay experience. I feel like I'm articulating that poorly right now, uh, but in my experience, it makes the game a lot more fun. Not to say that this is, uh, you know, difficult in its own right by now, or not difficult in its own right by now, because it actually is uh, fairly tricky. There will be a particularly difficult spell of jumping puzzles that we'll have to do towards the end of this. And also, I suck real bad at fighting this weird, like, griffin or chimera thing. I always get my mythological monsters mixed up. Uh, luckily, we do have some leniency with respect to our uh, health here, so he should die in like two more hits. There we go, we're gonna get some sweet gems. Apparently, that chimera was powered by gems. We will encounter another one a little bit later. Uh, and we'll just kill these rats as well. And again, you know, this is like standard Mega Man design here, I feel, where you got these enemies, you know, by themselves, not that much of a hassle. However, integrated with these pits, it creates a, a real problem. And Mega Man was always great about, those early Mega Man games anyway, always great about punishing you for rushing. Uh, where, you know, these enemies that would seem harmless would actually just appear and then, you know, hit you and knock you down a pit and that would be the end of your day. I'm, again, I'm not sure if there's unlimited lives or if it's somehow tied to the uh, amount of gems you have. Uh, okay, I messed that one up last time, but I managed to make it work, work this time. Uh, but for now, that hasn't really been too much of a serious issue because I've found things relatively easy so far. So let's just ignore this knight for now if we can. We don't necessarily need to kill him, although I guess we could for a score attack system. That is my secret ability right there. It looks like if I jump and hit up, yeah, up and X, then I can throw like a fireball. All right, good to know, actually. Now, I should point out, uh, from a promo standpoint, this is where the jumping puzzles get hard, by the way. Uh, but from a promotional standpoint, the guys at Yacht Club Games are running a Kickstarter. There was actually news earlier this week that they uh, successfully reached their funding goal. So their original funding goal for Shovel Knight was $85,000, and they've reached that already, which is actually pretty exciting. That's actually a fairly lofty goal for a Kickstarter this type, but I think this is the kind of game that really resonates with people. Uh, especially, you know, people of the age to be donating the Kickstarter, pro Kickstarter projects or pledging the Kickstarter projects. Uh, which is not to say that, you know, younger or older people don't do it, but I was thinking mostly people that had, you know, sustainable incomes and disposable incomes of their own, uh, who are probably around my age, you know, the kind of people who grew up with games like this. So I think this is the kind of game that could really do well on Kickstarter. And they have a number of stretch goals that they should be uh, approaching at this point as well, because as of the time of this recording, they, say they still have, um, 10 days left in that Kickstarter, and, you know, lots of buzz to ride, especially after that, like, post-convention boost that they've been getting. So we're coming up to the final boss here. Uh, the final boss is probably gonna be pretty easy. Normally, I've killed him just by jumping on his head, but I think I might actually be able to get away with, uh, just shooting here, which might actually make things a little bit faster. So I guess, you know, getting into that treasure chest is actually a very smart idea. Let's beat him the old-fashioned way by jumping on his head, just to give us a little bit more time here. So he's gonna do this confetti attack. That's the one that's gonna disrupt us the most. I guess I'll just shoot at him as he comes around here. But you can definitely see there's like a Mega Man vibe with this boss's patterns for sure. Like the way he kind of jumps at you in a way that is, you know, deceptively difficult to dodge, shall we say. So we've killed him very easily and that is going to be one of the shortest Let's Look at's I think I've done on record. But it's worth it, I think, to bring a little bit more attention to Shovel Knight. So Shovel Knight, uh, you can scan that QR code. I imagine it just takes you to the Kickstarter page. But in any case, this is the exact demo that they were showing off at PAX. This is not playable to the public yet, but I, I'm sure... You know, as you pledge, uh, there will be playable builds available at some point, if only at the time of release. As far as I know, this is coming out for PC, other platforms I'm not totally sure about, but in any case, thank you to Yacht Club Games uh, for giving me access to Let's Look at Shovel Knight. This seems like a game that I'm absolutely going to be super interested in when it comes out, but you know, as always, buyer beware, Kickstarter projects are always a financial risk on yourself, but if it looks like something you might be interested in, why don't you check out the Kickstarter page in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching this Let's Look at Mini, and I will see you guys next time.